What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody drilling? Man, it's been five days since I posted a video. I posted my 30 days mark. Oh glory to God for helping me get there. I could not have done it without the Lord. I'll tell you that. I could not have get it. I have not, I couldn't have gotten that far. All them relapses. They don't expect another relapse. I don't even want to say that word. I don't even want to give that word any power. Don't expect another R from me in a long, long time. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get right into this video. The intimidation is back, my people. I'm 30 days in. The intimidation factor is back. Oh, man. So, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I can't wait to hit 60 days. I can't wait to hit 60 days. But the intimidation factor is, is back. It's so sad because I am not a mean dude. I'm a genuine dude, I'm kind. I do my best to live exactly how Christ said that I should be living, loving, kind, and long-suffering. Try to be like that, but when people approach me on this journey, when I'm retaining, it's either two, two type of people that approach me. It's either the first one, they wanna speak to me so fast so they can hurry up and not be around me, or they're like very timid. And I be like, what is going on? Why is people so timid? It could be the eye contact too, because when I'm speaking to people, I'm giving eye contact. Sometimes I feel my own power to the point that I don't even give people eye contact, especially like at my job. If I'm talking to people and I'm helping them with something, it's like they can't give me eye contact or they're like very timid. Like they're like, hi, like, hi, you know what I mean? And I just be like, no way. This is the life that I'm living right now. This cannot be my experience, but it is. That energy that I'm carrying, most people are not used to being around a man that has that energy. Most men, as we all know, they're watching their adult sites, they're fornicating, they're self-pleasuring, so they're wasting their energy. And the crazy thing about this journey is that when you are holding on to your seed, my brothers, you are literally cultivating one of the most powerful energy on the planet. People will feel your energy. You could be on the same block as somebody. People will feel your energy a couple feet away. If you travel on public transportation, listen, you could be the most quietest person ever on that bus. The minute you start moving around, people looking back, staring at you, People like giving you the utmost respect, but then you got, like I said, those other people that they just give you those looks. Like I don't, like like I said, they demons. Like I said, we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against the principalities and the darkness. This is a spiritual world. So now with me being 30 plus days in on this journey, I'm realizing, wow, because my spirit is becoming pure, because I'm doing my best to live a righteous lifestyle, I'm not living worldly. I'm not smoking weed, I'm not drinking, I'm not fornicating, I'm, I'm clean from all of that. My mind is refreshing, it's, it's being renewed because the Lord is renewing my mind. I'm not being conformed by this world anymore. People that are still in the darkness and living that way, they are noticing a light that's, that's, that's coming out of me. My energy is radiant. Well, some people are intimidated. Women, I wouldn't say, actually women are too. Women are intimidated in terms of like, it's like I said, I'm not the biggest guy. I'm not walking around with a mean mug. I'm smiling. I smile a lot, especially on this journey. I smile a lot because I'm thinking about the goodness of the Lord, but I'm also understanding that internally I feel amazing. I feel amazing. Like this energy that you have when you cultivate is beautiful. I pray every man that's watching this that is not retaining, please get over retention, please, please. It's so much better. Like the way I'm at 30, 30 days plus, I do not care about anything lustful, fornication. I don't care about anything sexual. And honestly, I'm not even fiending to rush into marriage just so I could do that. I don't really care for it. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. It don't do nothing for me. Like, like I don't care if I'm doing it for procreation, which I'm not trying to have kids. So it's like, why am I even thinking about that? And I don't care if it should just pleasure. I'm tired of pleasure. Me personally, I do not deserve the V-Box. I haven't accomplished anything. Why am I getting the V-Box? Every time I've released and I've bust the nuts, my brain is thinking that I'm procreating. Every time that I release my seed for pleasure, my hand, the adult sites, my brain is thinking, let's just say, 
wait, I gotta learn to finish my thoughts. My brain is thinking that I'm literally um, procreating. Let's say, right, I was 16 and I lost my V card at 16 and I've been releasing since 16, right? Let's say the first time I got into it, I've released over 50 times. That wasn't for procreation. My brain thought all of those 50 times, this man is procreating. He's being fruitful. Wow. My brain, my people, is thinking that I'm literally releasing for procreation. That is sick. Messing up what my brain is trying to do. My brain, once I release, it's already like, okay, he's in procreation mode. So he's already released. Let's help him sleep now let's relax his body okay he doesn't need to be doing anything else but i'm only 29 i need to be doing stuff i need to be grinding i need to be working on bettering my life i need to be working on getting closer to christ i need to be ready for when christ come back i don't have no time to be fornicating and getting into lustful i don't even want to think of that stuff no more it's just the thought of it just makes me like ah like and let's talk about christ Let's talk about men's fellowship. Let's talk about church. Let's talk about working on our goals. You know what I mean? Because you got to have a balance. That's something that the Lord is showing me. Like, you know, God always first, but I still have to take care of my duties. I got duties that the Lord put on my hands and put on me. I have to take care. I have bills I have to pay. You know what I'm saying? I got to take care of my duties, man. But the intimidation factor is there, especially the feminine women which I don't really care to like dive into. Cause like I said, you're not gonna see female attraction videos for me. I'm sorry. Like I don't do this for female attraction. I actually don't like female attraction, but that's for another video. But you will notice that. You will notice how powerful your energy is when you're on this journey. Wow. People are intimidated by my energy. Or I should say people's demons are intimidated by my energy. It's either they're gonna be timid, it's either they, they're gonna be trying to speak to you so fast so they could just move away from you because their energy is messing up their demons internally, or you got the feminine women that are like literally super kind and super nice to you and they're like gentle and they don't want to like step on your toes and they're not even close to you but they don't want to, you know, they're like very, thank you, hi, talk to you. So this journey is no joke. I couldn't wait to like lock in and make these videos because as I'm as I'm saying this right now to you, I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. Like I, I'm just shocked at this at the fact that this is my experience. I'm not trying to speak for everybody and say, oh, this is what you're gonna experience. This is just my experience. If you have experienced the same thing, amazing. But yeah, I don't want to make these videos too long. I want to get to the point, speak on it, and get to the next video, all right? So I appreciate y'all. Y'all keep retaining. Y'all keep taking care of yourself. And listen, don't give up that seed. It's not worth it. It's not worth a couple minutes of pleasure. Then you lose all your benefits. Now you got to start all over. You charged again. Nah, we good on that. We retaining because this, this is what the word of God says that we supposed to be doing, all right? So I take, I was about to say, I'll take care of y'all. <laughs> God's going to take care of y'all. Appreciate y'all, and until next time, much love.